Welcome back. With the national power grid nearing total collapse, alternative energy must be found. A solar power plant in Uppington in the Northern Cape, capable of providing 100 megawatts of electricity, has been unveiled. It'll be enough power, enough rather, to power 100,000 homes through the ESCOM grid. Siabonga Mbanjwa, Senior South Africa's Managing Director, joins us now with more. So it seems like you are the hope at the end of this very dark tunnel for ESCOM, but is this enough right now? Unfortunately, it's not, but uh, it does make a difference because if you look at if there were a number of these plants that were um, collectively coming on stream at the same time, then you could make quite a significant dent. Uh, if you look at the amount of renewable energy that has come on stream in the last uh, few years, we're sitting on approximately 4,000 megawatts. So yesterday we had, uh, we had uh, level six load shedding, mm -hmm. which amounts to about 6,000 megawatts that had to be taken off uh, the grid. So if you didn't have the 4,000 megawatts, the situation could be uh, a lot worse. So, so we're making a small contribution, but uh, we need a lot more projects such as these to be uh, initiated, to be approved uh, by, by government. Yeah, so you're already working with ESCOM and power and giving it some power, 100 correct. megawatts, I see, of electricity. Correct. That powers 100,000 homes, is that correct? Approximately, yes. Uh, it all depends on the amount of usage per household, but that is more or less uh, what it's equivalent so to. So how many more of these um, solar energy projects do we need to actually assist ESCOM to a point where we don't see the lights go out? The big difference between, let's say, a coal-fired power plant and a renewable energy power plant in terms of scale is that uh, if you take Medupi, Medupi is approximately 4,800 megawatts. So if you get that on stream, it can make a massive difference. But if you have a number of um, uh, plants of our size coming on stream, being developed by different developers at the same time using private sector funding, then of course that also makes a big difference. Um, so, 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 so there could be quite a, a big impact um, if the projects are initiated at the same time and they come on stream more or less at the same so time. So what does it cost to get one up? Uh, well, we look at it in terms of uh, the, 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 the rands per megawatt. Um, so you, you're looking at, uh, so from PV, for example, the last bid window was in 2015, and the lowest cost was at 62 rand per kilowatt hour. The big difference, though, was that uh, that excludes storage. Um, with our plant, uh, it includes storage, so the cost is, uh, is, is, is higher. Uh, at, at approximately double that price, but it already includes storage. So what that means is that from about um, half past five or five o'clock in the afternoon when the sun sets, we are able to, we basically would have been storing um, energy throughout the day. We start to release that energy in the afternoon all the way until around 10 o'clock, uh, which is the peak period, and uh, we are able to then continue generating electricity when, uh, when, when it's peak period. Yeah. yeah, so what if businesses got involved and said, we want to fund solar power plants like this? Is that possible, and is that going to work going forward? Well, these power plants are already funded by uh, private businesses. So mm -hmm. the way that they work is that uh, you sign uh, a long-term power purchase agreement, for example, over a 20-year period. Um, based on, on that, the private sector goes out and raises funds and is then able to, 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 to supply ESCOM um, and, and gets remunerated on a megawatt uh, sort of basis. Uh, so you, you, you basically get paid based on the amount of megawatts that you put on the grid. Yeah. So, so of course we need a lot more of this, but unfortunately um, it's not just business on, on their own that can do this. It's almost a public-private partnership, so it has to be initiated by government. Uh, as I indicated, the last bid window of this nature that was issued by the Department of Energy was back in 2015. Yeah. Considering that we've been having uh, load shedding over the last few years, you'd have expected a much greater level of urgency to ensure that these projects are initiated. Um, what we had been advised was that uh, they had been waiting for the integrated resource plan, which is our long-term electricity plan. That plan was approved on the 17th or 16th of October, promulgated on the 17th of October. But since then, we've had nothing um, in terms of initiating new bid windows. Yeah. So, so it is necessary that we need to initiate new bid windows, not just in renewables, for example, but also in fast power. 
um, I think we need to get any power that uh, we can afford to get at this stage funded by the private sector. Well, speak to the president because he's on his way back from Egypt to try and deal with this crisis. Hopefully, you'll be able to make that happen. Thank you so much. Hopefully, for your time. we can get a greater level of, of urgency. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. That is Sia Bonga Mbanjwa, Senior South Africa Managing Director.